Yo guys, this is BTB here and today I'm back with another narration and this is from round 1 of VCOP and the players are Sidemas and FV um, FV is Flaming Victini and I think he's from uh, US Midwest uh, whereas Sidemas is from France I already did a game of his like uh, in my last video and um, the link to that will be down below in the description but uh, yeah, uh, a lot of you guys seem to like my previous game's commentary so I'll probably be doing a few more narrations for you guys and yeah so without further ado let's just get straight into the game we have um, um yeah okay so Fe is using um, a standard kind of team with Megazam um, he has a firewater grass core in um, Heatran, Ferrothorn and Greninja uh, probably like Shaka Coco and um, Choice Scarf Landorus like um his uh, fe's team looks pretty obvious uh but uh, the only thing that could be a surprise factor is like um the greninja the greninja can be ash or protein whereas cdms is using this um uh this hyper offense team i think this uh ho team is made by um extra shine uh this is like rocks uh, this is like reed rocks excadrill with uh, toxic earthquake stealth rock rapid spin this majorna is like um CM uh, I Papa Berry, I think, with T Bolt, Ice Beam, and uh, Shift Gear. This Greninja is uh, Spike Setter Protein with Tarn, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam. I, I have no clue what the Greninja is, but I know it's Protein for sure. Uh, and this Blessephalon is a very interesting Blessephalon because it is like uh, it's a jolly Blessephalon so that it gets the speed boost instead of. A fucking uh, special attack raise and yeah and it has ghost TMZ I'm pretty sure it has ghost TMZ to like uh, nuke stuff harder and the, the Zygarde is probably uh, the Zygarde is like Aya Papa DD or or weakness policy I'm not really sure it's probably Aya Papa though most likely and uh, this is Mega Gyarados okay so the leads are pretty obvious from both sides uh, uh, Effie just leads off with the Landris because Landris is the best uh, lead matchup he has versus Excadrill because uh, the Greninja does not appreciate uh, Excadrill's Earthquake turn one even if he like goes for like Dark Pulse or something and yeah basically the leads are self explanatory yeah self explanatory okay so we see that Effie's Lando is slower than the drill. So what I was talking that um, what I was saying earlier that this Lando is probably scarf is wrong. We find out that this um, Lando is actually more of a defensive variant, most probably. He could still be adamant max attack um, Z move kind of thing, but it's most likely that he's just defensive. Uh, as he just U turns here, which is which is the right play. There's no use of getting up rocks because then he takes like. One round, one round of toxic and uh, some damage from the rapid spin. So Effie makes the correct play there, just going for the straight up U-turn. Uh, if he wanted, he could have earthquake there, but I think U-turn was a better play because now he uh, wants to get in like something like the Coco or something, so that he, so that the Gyarados doesn't get a free switch in. So yeah, I think U-turn is a fine play there. Now Effie is just uh, thinking through this turn. Um, Doc told me that his fucking connection gets cut somewhere here so you guys will probably see so when you guys probably see this chat moving it means that um, his connection got cut off so the Nazis came and cut his connection off so alas but yeah let's I don't think it's to this turn yet because I see the chat moving so yeah okay so hmm Effie should go out in his Coco in my opinion because that does not allow in the a Zygarde or yeah this, that does not allow in the Zygarde because it could be Shaka and the Zygarde doesn't appreciate a HP ice into HP ice uh, if I was Effie I would just go out into Coco uh, but he's probably calcing stuff he's he was he's probably thinking he should go out into his uh, Scarf Greninja or Coco I think those are his two options he's debating on he definitely does not want to go out into his Heatran because that allows in the Zygarde for free and even though like Lando always comes in on the Zygarde, it's toxic, and the rocks are up, so you don't not you do not want to take extra damage on the Landorus. Um, yeah, Effie is still thinking about it, about this turn, so let's just think with him, I guess. 
I'm not sure what I can say more. Hmm. Okay, so I've fought actually. I've actually fought both of these players in SPL, um, and they're really cool and really really solid players. Effie's like a consistent player for the past three years, and CDMS is like a consistent player since the past one year. So this is going to be a very solid and interesting game. But Effie really needs to hurry up. <laughs> He's thinking a lot about this turn, though. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So he goes into Greninja. Okay. Uh, Greninja is a fine play too, big, uh, because um, even if he, even if Suryamas goes under Zygarde, he's most likely gonna bait a uh, Ice Beam, and he is gonna sh uh, he's gonna go to Megarna. So. Effie is going to just U-turn here, I think. Like, no matter what CDMAS goes out into, Effie is going to just U-turn. He's most likely Scarf U-turn, so he's just going to U-turn this turn. And he loses nothing by just U-turning. Even if CDMAS just goes hard into uh, Megarna, uh, Effie just U-turns into his Ferrothorn. And, like, leeches up and stuff. Uh, Ferrothorn actually just walls the Megarna because he's, like, Shift Gear, CM, T-Bolt, and Ice Beam. Um, oh. Oh yeah, the chat stopped moving. This is probably the part where um, Doc's connection got cut off. So that's unfortunate. I'll just skip through like the next one and a half minute. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, we probably missed like a few turns. Okay, but this is Doc playing the game again. Um, okay. Okay, 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 cool. So. We see that uh, the Greninja went for the. Uh, we see that Cinemas went out into his uh, Greninja, and the Greninja just clicked Gunk Shot. But Cinemas predicted that with absolute fucking perfection, and clicked Earthquake there, and really got and got Fe on the turn. So that was that was actually really really interesting. I really didn't expect their turn to work out that way. Um, Fe's play was Fe's play was pretty good because. Um, Actually no wait wait let me think about this. Did Effie lose anything by just U-turning? <laughs> like okay if CDMAS went for the DD, he just U like he just U-turns into Fair Thorn. I don't know if he lost anything by just U-turning that turn. I'm not really sure. But yeah, hmm. I think Gunk was probably probably a slight misplay from Effie. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not really sure, but I think it was a misplay because uh, the Greninja is like kind of important to like revenge the Blessephalon after it gets a speed boost, uh, and even like hit the Zygarde. But Effie probably doesn't know CDMAS's team, so that could, that could also be a factor in this game. So that's why probably uh, why that's probably why Effie sacked his Greninja. Uh, I mean, obviously Earthquake was a very good play and he didn't expect the Earthquake, he probably just expected a DD and he just wanted to get off Chip on the Gyarados uh, and put it in range of um, something like Power Whip from Ferrothorn. So, like, I understand Effie's uh, thought process there. Uh, it wasn't definitely a bad play. It was just a small misplay, I would say. No, not even a misplay. I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, just, just like a... Just like a play that didn't work out, to say the very least. Okay, so Effie goes for the Z Gigavolt there. I mean Z Thunderbolt, which is the Gigavolt Havoc, and that does a fuck turn to the major Megarna. And yeah. And yeah, he just throws out the Megarna there. Okay. So uh Cinemas is most likely uh, planning to win with the fucking um Blessephalon. And I think it's it's looking pretty good for him at this stage. He just gets up a spike here, and I think Blessephalon can clean up this game. Uh, Effie probably thinks he's in a fine spot because he doesn't expect the set uh, that is like jolly Blessephalon. Uh, because at this time, when the game was happening, I don't think the sets were uh, revealed yet. Oh my god. Oh, he gets the para, but he, okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. There was no full para. That would have actually sucked a bit. But yeah, that's. Since there was no full power, that's nice. 
uh, okay, but what this allows uh, Fe to do is uh, Fe can just stay in regular form now and click um, Psychic. I don't think it matters really in the long run, but yeah, he can stay on regular form now and just click Psychic. But he decides to Mega Evolve, which is also fine. Oh yeah, he, uh, yeah, Mega Evolving is the right play there because he traces the protein. Right, 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 right. Uh, but does it even really matter though? Okay, unless unless uh, this Alakazam has HP Ice, which I don't think he has because he has like Lando, Greninja, and Coco uh, with HP Ice to check the Gliscor. So I don't think this Zam is like HP Ice, but there's a high chance he could also be HP Ice because... Um, yeah, there's a chance he could be HP Ice to be honest. And if he's HP Ice, he just wins. Because I don't think a protein boosted, um, I, I don't think Zygarde lives a protein boosted HP eyes. Uh, don't quote me on that though. Yeah. Yeah, Psychic did 63. There was no way Zygarde was living a HP eyes. Okay. Okay, well, now I think what Effie should do is actually just go out into his, uh, into his Landris. And. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. This th These set of turns are really interesting now. Yeah, he does go out into the Landris um, on the E-Speed, which is nice. But now he shouldn't kill the Zygarde. He, he should not kill the Zygarde. He should HP Ice. Ugh. He's Rocky Helmet, right? Yeah. Okay, so he should HP Ice here. And then U-Turn. Okay, Earthquake works too. But, um, okay, 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 okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, I think Sirimas has it at this point because uh, Blessiflon cleans up the game. But this is really interesting now. Uh, wait, uh, uh, the only way Effie can win is like, okay, since, yeah, yeah, the, the, it's game over now. Since he Earthquake again, since he Earthquake again, oh fuck, EQ'd again. I think his play was like, hmm, what was his play? I really don't think Effie uh, Effie had a way to win after the speed boost, and no one really. And I don't. I know that Effie didn't expect the speed boost because it's not a real set and stuff. But yeah, I think it's game over now. The only thing he could have probably done different is like after EQing the Zygarde, Zygarde he U turns into Ferrothorn, and like. Yeah, I don't know how he won this game. Yeah, the the speed boost Blessephalon is like um, too much for Fe to handle. Um, so I think uh, what his his um, misplays here, if he knew the team was like um, sacking the Greninja and letting the Zam take damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, because if he if the Zam didn't take damage and if he hard hard Lando on the fucking Zygarde, then he could have just like um, knocked out the Zygarde. No, not knocked out the Zygarde. He could have like um, just kept sacking Mons to keep Zygarde at neutral. And uh, and basically he loses all his Mons at the health. He loses all his Mons in such a way that. The Zygarde is left at like around 20% and Effie has his Zam left, but then he Thousand Arrows. Yeah, I, I, I don't think Effie could have won this game. Um, yeah, Sirimas actually played this game to pure perfection because he set up all he set up for this uh, exact sweep the entire game. Like his entire game plan was revolved around this Mon sweeping and this is how you play Hecho. I think Sirimas played this game to like absolute perfection. Uh, I think Effie played really well too. And yeah, this game was actually pretty good. It's just that one small trick uh, catches you off guard and you really can't do anything about it. Yeah. This was a really cool game. I had fun narrating this game. I don't think Effie could have won this. And Sirimas really played this well. So this was an impressive game from both sides. Okay, cool. So that was a GG and
yeah, I'll see you guys with more narrations later on. Peace, guys.